Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee, and today, oh, you can't see that. Today, I got my Sephora sale haul package in, and this is not the video that I even planned on doing. Shit, I think I might need to adjust my cell phone. I'm on my iPhone recording this because I, as most of you know, got a new Canon camera. However, I just suck at, <laughs> at all the formatting and, you know, getting everything dialed in correctly with my network, the Wi-Fi, and then you add in, I built my own website, which I don't have any clue what I'm doing, keep in mind. So, uh, yeah, I filmed the video that I talked about on my Instagram, which is a Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below. Um, and also, you're going to want to actually subscribe to me and pay attention and follow me on Instagram because, well, one, because I post cool shit. I mean, in my opinion. And I also, one moment, have giveaways all the time and I previewed this one a few days ago. So everything in here is going to be part of my next giveaway. I think I'll just scoot back and maybe that'll help. So, in here, we just have all kinds of goodies. Just, I wish I could show you easily, but yeah, lots of stuff. So, there will be two winners, one from Instagram and one from YouTube, and that is why you need to be subscribed and following me on Instagram because I'm going to be picking one from each. Don't know why I'm doing this so much. So my Sephora order came today and I figured, you know what, I'll just get on here with my cell phone, throw on a hat, some powder, and some tinted lip balm and call it good and at least show you guys what I bought this round. So if you want to know what I bought, let's just open this because I kind of want to know too. And then I have a few products in the back that are new to me and I just wanted to mention them as I know the Sephora sale. Um, it just launched for Rouge on Wednesday, I believe. And so I'll leave all the information below as well with the coupon code and everything. I think it's summer save, but don't quote me on that. So it's 20% off for Rouge and then VIB, if it hasn't started already, it starts in a few days. And that I believe you get 15% off. So I got a few things and not that I need to even disclose this information, but you know, it's, I guess that I almost feel sometimes discriminated against in, in the weirdest way possible. Um, you know, in my opinion, there's all kinds of labeling and discrimination. And I feel like just because I look a certain way or have a large collection of makeup, that does not mean that I am rich. I wish it did. Trust me. I wish it was. But, yeah, I'm not. Just, just know that, you know, I have worked hard for everything I have. I'm in my 30s. When I was in high school... I think I had one MAC lipstick and powder, and that that's it. So, you know, just like with anything in life, you have to work for it. It takes a lot of time. 
this whole, you know, room of makeup I have been adding to for five, at least five years, like continuously, aggressively just adding to. And then I've also, because of all you lovely supporters, have been able to get sent some amazing PR from brands that I love, um, like Benefit, Urban Decay, uh, YSL sent me a bunch of lipsticks. I'm actually propping my phone up on the PR box. Um, just uh, Makeup Forever, Tarte. So, yeah, I mean, I just want to throw that out there. And a tiny piece of background before I show you this. I worked at Nordstrom's. We were all told of the tire story. And we would have sometimes like secret shoppers come in and we, you know, I mean, I work downtown Seattle, so there, you know, there is quite a large population of people that uh, live on the streets. And unfortunately, there was a situation where a coworker treated someone very badly just based on their appearance and so basically all I'm saying is don't judge a book by its cover just because someone looks a certain way or has something you don't know what they went through to get what they have and you don't know unless you have access to their bank statements which would be kind of you know a, illegal, and B, just, why would you do that? But unless you have that, sure, I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. You don't really know someone's financial situation. So, with all that being said, I do giveaways still, monthly, for my supporters. And by supporters, I mean the people that are actually active on my page and on YouTube now. I'm doing it all on my own. I set up my own website. I have a few Instagram pages. I do YouTube and so taking product pictures and makeup looks, all the editing on my own. Let's get into what I got. Actually first, since my address, my address is on that side because I have used them and I would definitely recommend picking them up during the sale. I also have a video that I'll link somewhere on the screen of my last Sephora sale haul and recommendations so you guys can check that out. So anyways, Benefit came out with this new full coverage Boing it reminds me of Boeing. I worked there too. <laughs> that was actually my least favorite job I've ever had. And I was there the longest. So this isn't from Boeing. This is Boeing, which is their new full coverage concealer. Uh, they did used to make, you know, the one in the pot. And I... I used to love that and then I kind of just went away from that. It didn't have enough coverage for me. I don't like dipping my finger into a product to put around my eyes. I mean, sometimes I'll do it with eyeshadow, but rarely. I just, I don't know. There's something about, I like using an applicator. So, uh... I didn't actually bring in the, oh, I didn't. We have a lot of arguments, myself and I. Oh, found it. So this is shade four. I know my nails probably look like they're really dirty, but they're not. I just, they're just my natural nails and I'm always, you know, playing with makeup and stuff. So just wanted to show you guys, it's a nice 
doe foot applicator and it does uh, bend stretch a lot which I really appreciate because you can kind of you know get into those small inner eye crevices I be prior to trying this one my favorite was the Too Faced multi-use sculpting concealer which is a bigger bottle and a bigger applicator and uh, prior to that I was a shape tape fan but I always felt like it was a little bit dry and a little cakey and this is more along the lines of the Too Faced and also my old Holy Grail, the Urban Decay Naked one. It's kind of similar to that in the sense of it's very, it's a very thin formula, but it is just so creamy and blendable and just, just, I don't even know, it's suck at explaining things sometimes, but just so you can see how well and easily that blended out. It didn't settle in any of my fine lines or anything like that and it covered amazing and it didn't feel like you had a cake on your face. So that's always a plus. And then this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. I had the shade Y315 which is the shade I believe I am in the foundation. So I am, that is actually the only thing that I am wearing on my face is this powder. Well, I do have a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And then a Dior lip oil tint. That, that's it. Oh, brow gel. Yep. Tint and brow gel. That's it. So this I, you know, I'm a full coverage kind of girl. For me, it's kind of, I still would put this on top of my foundation. But if you don't have a whole lot of, you know, discolorations, age spots, acne to cover up, then this will probably, you'll probably just love it. But I, I still do love it. And um, I do really love the shade as well. I have noticed that it is, it does kick up quite a lot of powder, so just keep that in mind, but um, yeah, it definitely is blurring. So anyways, those are two products that I have, I love, and definitely recommend. Now, let's just show you what I bought. And I also had a $100 Rouge gift card. Uh, if you're a Rouge member, save your points. Well, if you want a gift card, save your points because you can get a $100 gift card on Sephora with 2,500 points. Speaking of full coverage, this is the foundation that I was super excited to get and try the new Smashbox 24 hour full coverage studio skin. So I do appreciate also that they had some olive shades. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am kind of like olive green skin tones. I do appreciate not just brands that are catering to more olive skin tones, but just brands coming out with more shades that are just different from your light, medium, dark, you know? Anywho. So, let's see. Hmm. I was not expecting. This is kind of interesting. I'm trying to think. I don't think I actually have any foundations right now that I'm using that are like this. It, what fluid ounce is this? It's one, so that's standard. It's one fluid ounce. It just seems like a small, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? It just seems small to me. But, so I got the shade 2 
6.22, which is light medium with a neutral olive skin tone. Let's just put a oh, yeah. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I think I did pretty good. It's a little bit more um, orange, at least right there on my arm, but it's always different on my face and matching, you know, to my chest than my hand. That is the first thing I picked up. Why am I never prepared? I just swipe on this. But, uh, Mark Jacobs came out with some new, this is limited edition, I believe. So I got one of the newer enamored Dazzling lip gloss. I got the very glittery pink one and it has this limited edition, just beautiful packaging. Like that. Do a swatch of this one for you too, because why not? It's kind of like a lilac purple, but it's very, very, very sparkly. That is just gorgeous. So I love the formula of these glosses from Marc Jacobs. That slight peppermint scent to it. So love that. I picked up in another one of the Buxom Wonderlust blushes. And I have Dolly and love it. So I got Meknos, which is the peach toned shade. You guys, these are amazing and so insanely pigmented. Just throwing stuff around. And they also have this slight, like, coconut scent to them. <sighs> I will just smell this and dream about someone taking me to Tahiti. If anybody's watching, wants to take me, let me know. So, yep, got that. Peach tones, love them. Wanted to try one of these Touch and Soul. They're kind of like the the color pop ones they remind me a little bit of that but it's supposed to be a metallic sparkling foiled pigment so the swatches looked amazing and i'm really hoping that i'm not let down so let's let's just try this together maybe i lied maybe i am gonna swatch and show you everything so I got the shade Sun Aurora. Yep, that's what it is. It's very, very, very creamy. Definitely more creamy than the ColourPop Metallic. It almost has kind of like a gel type finish, but just, just, Beautiful. Let's see this. Let's see if I can. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, I might need to get another one of these. I love the all the shades that are in this one, all the reflex. So let me just put the I love the holographic packaging as well. I should probably put that on there. I'm assuming that kind of like the ColourPop ones, they might dry up if you don't put the lid on there. So trying to get in the lighting here. I have my ring light on, so I look way paler than I actually am IRL in real life. Mom, if you're watching, there's a new uh, acronym for you to learn. This is kind of boring, but I wanted to try one of these uh, eye masks. I got the smoothing one. So, I don't know. I just love these simple little masks. I think that was like five bucks. 
Then I got the Cover FX. I've been wanting the bronzer, but both shades have been sold out and they were still sold out when I placed my order. So I got one of the blushes. I don't own any of these. I have seen all the hype. I have heard people talk about them and how amazing the bronzers and the blush duos are. So I just had to get one and they didn't even have the one I initially wanted, but I read a lot of reviews and so I got the shade Spice Cinnamon, which looks a little dark, but I was reading a lot of reviews and people saying that even that they had the same type of skin tone that I do or that even lighter skin tones can use this to just be careful with it because it is definitely pigmented but I just loved the color of it. It seemed a little bit different than blushes that I already have and I also just really wanted to try the formula. So there's that. Let's see which finger I haven't used. Wow it is so smooth. So yeah, I I don't think I'll look like a clown. I mean, it's possible. I could always look like a clown, easily, but I'm gonna try not to. So there is the blush side, just there on my hand, obviously. And I did read that uh, most of the people were not loving this a shimmer shade and I I think that it's more of a like blush topper not necessarily a very pigmented highlight and you know in all reality this is quite a dark highlighter so even if it just came as that for free I wouldn't be using it as a highlighter so just throwing that out there but let's let's swatch a little bit just to see. Yeah, so I I think that this will be really pretty. It's a little bit more uh, pink toned than the other. So sorry guys, this is just you know I really wanted to get up a video. So this is what. So the uh, blush is on the bottom and then the shimmery one is on the top. It kind of reminds me of a uh, NARS orgasm, just the regular old orgasm. So yeah, that is the Cover FX in Spiced Cinnamon. And I do plan on getting one of the bronzers because I just, the color seems different and I'm just, I, I try to always buy different stuff and although I love nude lipsticks, I'm, I'm trying my best to just buy different stuff than stuff I already own. So I had to get the Anastasia Jackie Ina palette. I feel like there was a lot of controversy and negativity surrounding this palette. And, you know, I mean, yeah, are there shades in here that are similar to other palettes that you might already own? Yes. But isn't that the case with just about every eyeshadow palette out there? Even rainbow ones, there's just, there's a ton of rainbow themed or bright colors, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, you know, white, black, and you don't see people saying, you know, oh, it looks just like that or hard pass, it's already been done. So yeah, I am a fan of Anastasia shadows in general and I have all of the palettes I started how 
Let's try from the other side. When I started on my Instagram journey, I believe one of my first palettes, I love the packaging too. That is just right up my alley. One of the first palettes that I got, um, either the Miamia or the Amrezy. Let's see. So I still have most of them. Oh, wait. Who remembers this one? I think this might have been the first one. The Lavish Palette. Man, this thing has, it still looks pretty good. But yeah. So yes, I'm sure you guys have seen, but I will show you just in case you haven't. I know the brush is going to fall out, so I'm just going to, whoa, whoa. I'll just go like that. It's a lot easier. Let's get up close and personal here. So I know a lot of people were saying that it looks like the uh, Norvina or combined with like the um, modern Renaissance, which I happen to have. I believe that's what a lot of people I saw commenting. Ginger and credit, you know, obviously, crap, my phone. Phone is dying. So I got to get off of it. But I am super happy to have this palette added to my Anastasia collection. And um, yeah, I'm thinking, so I filmed my spray application and first impression video on my Canon last night. I'm still trying to figure out how to format it and edit that. So hopefully I can get at least this up for you and you can see what I got. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram and stay tuned because the huge giveaway will be going up probably this weekend or early next week. So, uh, yeah, I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you for bearing with me. I know that this has been so frustrating. Well, at least for me, like I, I have all these ideas and I have all of this passion and I truly am enjoying this journey of being on YouTube and making video content. However, it's like I've hit this wall with technology where everything I do just ends up getting so messed up. And so, yeah, I just want you to know that I myself am committed and I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to put up content. And so, yeah, if there's anything you guys <laughs> want to help me with, or if there's any suggestions you have, definitely let me know. But yeah, make sure you're following me, subscribed, and uh, go Hawks. They play on Saturday. So I'm all hopped out. Well, this is Adidas. But uh, yeah, have a good night, you guys. I love you.